Good Wednesday morning to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, live and in color, in his 2019 Casita Freedom Deluxe travel trailer, little RV that I live in, 84 square feet of interior space, and today is the day after yesterday, the day before tomorrow, and this is Trenton Clump. That's an it. That's a bumper sticker with a jalapeno on it that says Native Texan. That is olive oil from the old Popeye cartoons, and that's a miniature travel trailer somebody sent me. And those are organic bananas with uh, aluminum foil on the top because somebody told me they will stay fresh longer. If you do that, we'll find out. This over here, that's olive oil's bra, and that's an Evadry dehumidifier for this small space, which helps a wee bit. And you can get it on Amazon using my Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. What else can I tell you? Again, it's today. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? See, I'm always right when I say it's today. Or now. It's now. Okay? <clears throat> Can't miss that one, can you? Anyway, YouTube has done something different now. They give you all of your YouTube studio stuff in beta, whatever that is. And it's just a different look, but you cannot... If you don't want to do it, it's tough. It's just the way it is. So, but no, it's fine with me. They're, they're always making changes. Is this a better one? I don't know. It's hard to say. It looks like it might be. Uh, anyway, uh, so before I was so rudely interrupted, hey, Google, tell us a joke. Here's a joke. Why do gorillas have such big fingers? Because they have such big nostrils. Very funny. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, hey, Google. What's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? In Bangor right now, it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys just can't get it going, can you? Anyway, hey Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? In Butte right now, it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit. Guys, what's going on up there? It's, uh, hey Google, good morning. Hello, Rusty. It is 6.58 a.m. Currently in Burnett, it's 51 and clear. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of 79 and a low of 51. Have a wonderful Perf day. Thank you. Perfect weather. Perfect. I mean, yesterday was just textbook. I walked twice yesterday. Yeah, and uh, yeah, there's no hurry to go camping when the weather's like this, for sure. But yeah, I'm planning on pulling out on tax day, April the 15th. Somebody commented about that. Anyway, uh, shift into high. This is it right here. Uh, shift into high says, leaving on tax deadline brilliant well uh it's p just pure coincidence but yeah i am leaving i'm planning on leaving on april the 15th that could change by a week either way or a month either way i'm not you know whatever uh this is on uh the burn it walking thing thumbs up that's from hot limited then we've got uh, spider head uh he says robocalls here are spoofed numbers for example for instance an incoming call might be area 601 but the number is not real. Incoming might be a local number, but the call is not from a local number. Uh, Mike Ellis said Spiderhead, is cor this is correct. So when you block that number, you're actually blocking a local citizen that never called you. Huh, how about that? I didn't know that. And anyway, Danny, somebody left a link to the FCC stuff. But good luck with that. I've had it for two years and it hadn't done anything. Uh, anyway, this is on the telemarketing stuff, and I called Verizon, and they said you could stop them. And this man works, Mike Ellis, works at Verizon, and he said they fib to you. All we can do is block five specific numbers for only three months. Okay, so that tells you that there is a little confusion internally, possibly at Verizon. One says yes, and one says no. Well, whatever. I, I've only received, since I did the thing at Verizon, I have received one telemarketing call from area code 432 which is west texas and that covers odessa midland and i think el paso so anyway uh, george mcelroy says the safest call blockers app on play store if you get the robot call you can add it and it <clears throat> and it will block them or block all numbers that are not a contact well that's interesting let me tell you a, a, a real way to block telemarketing calls and that's turn your phone off and that's what I'm going to start doing because I don't need to have my phone on all day long so you know I've been just leaving it on it's going to be turned off okay most of the day as a matter of fact shift into high deader than a hammer that's talking about downtown burn it 
Rusty, that is called a hand truck. I saw one. Uh, I still look at my car's reflection. Yeah, I guess people still do when you drive downtown or where there's windows all around. This is on the tires stuff. Hot limited left thumbs up. Shift into high left thumbs up. Thank you. Jeffrey Lydell. Telemarketers smart, Rusty. I blocked the numbers on that phone, but they just call using a completely different number. Anyway, he's heard that there are apps that you can get. Yeah, you know, but th this is not an unknown problem by the FCC and uh, other government entities. And uh, it, there, it, it is getting to be an epidemic. So they'll eventually allow, and in fact, they're encouraging all these uh, um, phone carriers, you know, like Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile to uh, come up with a way to block them. And I'm sure they're working on it. Happy Comfort, thanks for the info. I'm going to look into it. Good luck. Uh, this is Danny Ixoy, I guess. You, you can block. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is the guy that left the link to... <clears throat> The FCC thing. So here's David uh, Dameron. Good afternoon. Well, good afternoon, David. How are you doing? It's good morning now. Dertrixa says greetings. Greetings to you, Dertrixa, on the uh, North Sea of uh, Germany. Uh, PJ Biker full. Welcome new visitors and Rusty's Rangers on your feet. Fall in for Rusty's world famous one letter mail call. Yeah, we got a letter yesterday. And uh, yeah, I got a little donation to the uh, beer fund. And uh, I got a nice little uh, thing on uh, old cars, a little insert in the newspaper, which was nice. And yeah, thank you for whoever, uh, it was somebody in Diddy or something like that. Anyway, thank you. Calvin Wright, uh, that was the thither of all thizzes. I need a beer to recuperate it. Yeah, that was on mail call when I honor them. Good job, sir. Greetings from, uh, this is Dertrixa. Greetings from, too. God bless all rangers and the rest of us. You bet, Dertrixa. Enjoy your day. Thank you. G. Lee Ferguson. <clears throat> yeah, I hear you. <clears throat> he says he's got a joke. It's about the scarecrow, the favorite one of uh, Google here, you know, because he's out staying in his field, so to speak. Thank you, G. Lee Ferguson. Tracy Phillips, good plan. It certainly won't hurt. Have a free call telemarketer today, my friend. I just I got one yesterday, and that's a, a whole a whole lot better than it has been. Ethel Perry, yippee! <laughs> this is Travis Marshall uh, on the Toyota Pri Prius fuse boxes location, and Travis Marshall says he still can't find it. Well, I showed it in the video. If you can't find it after that, you might want to leave it alone. Uh, Rick S., uh, it was Richie Cunningham, that's correct. And Paula Plant, hi Rusty, where do you find your email address? Uh, well, I'll tell you what it is. It's Rusty78609 at yahoo.com. How about that? And I left it in the reply. Hot Limited, behave Rusty, I did. Rocky Z-Man, burn it looks like my kind of town. What a wonderful looking town. There's not much going on on Sunday. Dr. Dan, hope it works for you. They just assume another random phone number and it begins again. The do not call list is also useless. I, I have to tell you because I, I confirmed mine yesterday and, it, and it, it, so it hadn't done anything. Uh, it says when I added my cell number to the robocalls, it just got worse. I think they probably sell your phone number. Tim Baker, iPhone allows you to block as many numbers as you want, but they just change it by digits. So useless. Isn't that weird? But anyway, the way to defeat them, the best way is just turn your phone off. When, you, when you're not using it, just turn it off. Because when you turn it back on, you get all your messages and, and missed calls and stuff. So you can just call away. Uh, Wanda Thurman, you rock, Rusty. Keep on doing it your way. Well, I plan to. <clears throat> uh, this is uh, MTL18, I think. Nice video. Thanks for posting. This is on Big Bend National Park, Chisos Basin. It says, visit the YouTube channel MTL18 for a few, full review of Big Ben, Lajitas, Terlingua, Alpine, Del Rio, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks to you, MTL18. Casey Lewis, uh, comment call. Rusty, you're right. A good asker goes a long way. Have a good hump day. You too. Uh, Twin Sparrow. Almost all the landlines at home are from area code 202, Washington, D.C., which we don't answer, we're on the do not call registry. But from what I was told, hearsay, 
they do not the do not call registry does not apply to nonprofits and political parties. I wouldn't doubt that. <clears throat> They'll exempt themselves. Uh, Rick S. Here's another reason retail is dead. When a Dick's Sporting Goods store in Springfield, Ma Massachusetts, went to to look at hiking hiking shoes, there were no prices on the shoes. I had to walk around and finally I found somebody, and he said the shoe. He said they put the shoes on sale a lot, and they didn't want to mislead the customers. Whatever that means. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, one of the things a, a store should always do is have the price of the product readily available for the customer. And even Walmart's guilty of that <clears throat> uh, a lot because I go in there and I'll find a product, no price, and you can't find anybody to ask. Uh, they've got a place where you can take it, and if it's got a barcode on it, you can check the price, but they're, they're sometimes hard to find. But anyway, Jerry Welch says, hey, Rusty, do you take naps? Sometimes I do, about 10 or 15 minutes, uh, uh, not, not regularly, just if I'm in a nappy mood. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes in the afternoon. That's it, and I'm ready to go again. This is on Discount Tire, Donnie Porter. I'm 39 and been with Discount Tire for 20 years and counting. Well, get them, Donnie Porter. That's a good company to work for, apparently. <clears throat> this is Nisi B on Mail Call, LOL. Thank you, Nisi B. Eth Ethel Perry. Don't know if you, it's hard to say Ethel if you have a lisp. Ethel Perry, did you earn same amount or do you earn the same amount of dollars if I only watch half the video? Thanks. I, I don't know how that works. They say that if you watch over 50% of it, you get credit for more than you do if you don't. I don't know how it all works. You just enjoy your life. Watch how, watch every, how much you want and go on down the road. It'll all work out. Mark Petrick. Uh, anyway, it says 18 grand he wasn't too happy with. <clears throat> Let's see if I can't, uh, he says it's better than a $200 tent. Uh, let's do this here. I got to make an adjustment there. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> this is Moody Mama says, thank you, Rusty, for that shout out to my husband on his birthday. Made him smile. Well, that's great. I'm glad he got to smile on his birthday, Moody Mama. <laughs> Chris Buchanan, uh, beautiful driving video, Rusty, great philosophy. You speak of the winds. One of the reasons I am moving from tent camping to having a trailer, very hard to tent camp when it's windy, always wakes you up, and it does. It'll wake you up in an RV. Uh, Scotty Thompson up to bat. Now he's got three. I bet you like your LG G4 prepaid phone. Have a great camera, removable battery, wireless. Uh, I, I don't know if it has wireless charging. And cheap on Verizon Wireless, $120 eBay. Uh, anyway, he talks about his phone. He's got a long comment. Uh, da, da, da. got an 8 megapixel rear, 5 megapixel front, good camera, Scotty. That's all you need. Uh, Scotty Thompson, cool video tech talk and telemarketing calls. It sucks. I get them sometimes on my phone, LG G4, LG Phoenix 4 on AT&T. Yeah, uh, yeah, all you can do is just ignore them or leave your phone off. Anyway, Scotty says, cool, funny mail call. You make me laugh every day when you make that noise, the zithing noise. Thank you, Scotty Thompson. Bill G., 1527. Good info, Rusty. It's the junk mail that is killing me. One thing I do, one thing I do if they have a prepaid envelope included with their address on it, I stuff all the junk in their envelope and send it back. <laughs> That's pretty good. I might have to start doing that. James R.T. Thanks, Rusty. Verizon didn't tell me they sold me some crap plan that didn't work for five bucks a month. Sheesh. Verizon didn't tell me this. They sold me some crap plan that didn't work. Uh, yeah, I hear apparently they got a bunch of, it just depends on who you get. Uh, we got three more. SRM, this is how you, this is, he said, the SRM is the person's name, says, hi, you Rusty, hope all is well. Uh, the ones that get me is the unavailable numbers. I have a Galaxy Note 8 that you're supposed to be able to block all anonymous numbers on. I have that activated, yet I get not less than 10 available calls per day. Called AT&T a few weeks back to complain, and the rep told me that these telemarketers use software which allows them to bypass any block you may have. I finally answered, and it was, as you said, a bogus car warranty. I had fun with the guy. Yeah, you know... <clears throat> This is going to be a big issue, guys, I have to tell you. 
Uh, John B. was it? He's talking about my first date. We went to the movies, and he says, "Was it a silent movie?" <laughs> That's for you, buddy. <laughs> That's for you, John B. No, it wasn't. That it was not. It might have been in color, for all I know, live and in color. Jo Jamie Gibbons, love this. How much to install a pot-bellied wood burning stove? Now, how in the hell would I know that, Jamie Gibbons? <laughs> I don't know anything about pot-bellied stoves. Anyway, ask them. <clears throat> So anyway, guys, uh, from Central Texas, hey, Google, tell us a joke. One joke coming up. What did the football coach say to the broken vending machine? Give me my quarterback. Yep. Uh, Touchdown. I hear you. That's really funny, Google. Real funny, real funny. Anyway, what else have we got here this morning? Let me think, let me think, let me think. That's it, guys. So from Central Texas, USA, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, bye anything you want. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because I get a small commission, doesn't cost you one penny. And some of you are using the link and some of you have, and I appreciate that very much. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. Stay hydrated and that'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, and it'll also help you lose weight because <clears throat> you'll be full of water. What else? Uh, and you won't be hungry. And what else? Take deep breath. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds and breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes, it is. Uh, what else? Uh, stretch, 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 swivel, 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 walk, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day uh, because you won't regret it. It makes you feel better and you may live a little longer because of it. What else? Uh, stand guard at the door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain. This is where all those little neurons are firing all the time and making thoughts and forming thoughts and memories and all kind of stuff. So give them some good ingredients. So anyway, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, uh, enjoy your day. And uh, from Central Texas, USA, bye-bye, adios, carry on. See you next time, guys. Adios.